This is BBC World News, I'm Lucy Gray, our top stories. A huge fire at South Africa's Parliament building in Cape Town. Dozens of firefighters have been battling to bring the blaze under control. Covid cases continue to surge across Europe. Now some English school pupils will have to wear masks. The virus is still causing major disruption for travellers worldwide. Thousands more flights have now been cancelled. The country in a state of paralysis. We report from Lebanon suffering from deep economic and political woes. And going for a dip, why do so many people like to get wet on New Year's Day? Hello, welcome to BBC News. Firefighters in South Africa have been battling to bring a fire at the country's parliament building under control. We can bring you live pictures from Cape Town now. The fire is thought to have started in office space on the third floor of the parliament building before spreading to the National Assembly building. Video footage has been showing plumes of black smoke filling the sky with huge flames from the roof of the building and it's not thought anybody was inside at the time. There are also reports of cracks in the walls uh, of some of the building and also it's been reported that the bitumen on the top of the roof has melted, at least in part. That's because of the intense heat from the fire and the blaze comes just hours after Archbishop Desmond Tutu's state funeral at St George's Cathedral which is near the Parliament. The government has been giving a press conference in the past few minutes and the Minister for Public Works says that they've already started looking into the cause of the fire. We, we, we have the situation under control for now. Um, we will be continuing with the investigation as to the cause of the fire. For now, where it is burning, we've contained the fire in the chambers of the National Council of Provinces. The fire is currently in the National Assembly chambers where we are also busy to contain that. This is a very sad day for our democracy because Parliament is the home of our democracy and Parliament is also a strategic a key point. Um, all matters will be investigated. The police have started to investigate. The forensic department is here. Public Works is here. We all together but for now, what is important is for us, we can't tell you exactly where the fire started, but we can tell you where we've contained it and where the fire is currently taking place. Part of the other smoke that you see coming out is there, there's a big extractor fan that is pulling the smoke and everything from the National Council of Provinces out into the air. And that is what you see is happening also at, 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 at the moment. We can hear now from Jermaine Karelsa from the Cape Town Fire and Rescue, who told us how the emergency response got underway. 